Okay, putting up the new Van Gogh. Let's see how it goes. Well, that wasn't too bad. It didn't take me too long to put up. I mean, if you've um, put up a few tents before, as I have, um, because I do a bit of mountaineering and wild camping and that, then um, they're all very similar. So this is the Van Gogh Omega 250, uh, two-person tent. They do do a 350, which is obviously a three-person tent. It's going to be slightly bigger, but also slightly heavier. Um, yeah, so it's just a simple tunnel tent. It has got a couple of windows either side. Um, yeah, and then a door either side. Now the reason I picked this tent is because of this porch area. So the exact dimensions you'll find online for the um, Amiga 250. But I liked it because the height, so from the floor to the top here in the middle, is about 1.2 meters, which I thought would be enough for me to sit in a chair in a morning if it's chucking it down with rain and cut my breakfast. Um, I hate kneeling in tents, you know, when you're out on the mountain and you're lying in your sleeping bag and cook it, I just don't like it. I much prefer to sit up if I can. Um, but yeah, so you can see there's a fair bit of room in here, you know, so I've got my two panniers in there easily. I could get a bit more kit and there's room besides to do a bit of cooking. Um, if you see the sides, there is quite a bit of room here, look. I mean, I haven't tensioned it out because I've only just quickly pegged it out. But So when you're cooking, if it is a windy day, you will get a bit of a draft coming under um, the sides there. So you might still need, say, like a, a windshield or I've got a Soto Windmaster so stove and they're really good in the wind. So, you know, I think I'll be fine with that. But um, anyway... Yeah, so it looks like a fairly decent tent. You've obviously got this normal um, sleeping compartment that you get that's um, fully sealed and bug proof, you know, so if you, uh, if you are worried about the buggies in the night, then you're gonna be fine in there. Um, it, so this bit's a bit lower. So you probably, if you're quite small or you've got a different type of chair, you could maybe sit in that bit, but I wasn't confident that I could. Hence, I went for this one, because I knew I could get a chair in there and sit in it. So say when I'm at the Adventure Bike Festival uh, in June, hopefully it's not gonna rain, it's gonna be perfect, but if it is, at least I've got somewhere I can sit and get out the worst of the weather. Um, yeah, so just a quick heads up on that. I quite like that, it's a good little tent. 175 quid from Amazon. You're not gonna go far wrong with that. Um, I am going to make some little changes, like I'm going to replace these for some uh, Dyneema cord because they'll be slightly lighter and if I can I'll replace the pegs but the pegs, they aren't bad little pegs, they're really lightweight aluminium ones um, so they will do the job nicely but I'll, I'm going to weigh them because I'm a bit of a nerd like that I uh, used to lugging stuff up on the mountain so <laughs> you get a bit obsessed with the weight of your kit but um, I think out of the bag it's about four kilos and trail weight it suggests about 3.3 kilos so you're going to be under four kilos um which i don't think is too bad right okay that's it bango amiga 250